I am Karin Stein. I'm the state organizer for Moms Clean Air Force, and it's a position I've held for a couple of years, over two years. Moms Clean Air Force got started in the eastern United States, but today has state organizers in at least half of the states around the country. And we have over, I'd say, almost a million and a half members around the United States. And it, I was approached by Moms Clean Air Force. I, uh, I'm Latin American. You wouldn't necessarily know that, but I am very involved with the Latino community in Iowa. And one of the things that Moms is really interested in, <clears throat> besides all the work that we do around the country on clean air and uh, fighting against climate change is reaching out to frontline communities. And of course, many, many Latinos and Latinas are in frontline communities. Our uh, work, whatever we do at the grassroots level or at the uh, state level or national level, all is focused on our two primary missions, which is to fight to protect children from air pollution and to fight to protect everyone from the climate crisis. And so we work at a grassroots level, community level. We work through the media by doing interviews and op-eds and we work at a national level by uh, being in conversation with our elected officials on a very regular basis. I uh, work directly on a regular basis uh, by reaching out to our elected officials and reminding them that we must think of our children. They don't have a voice. We must be their voice. And any decision we make will affect them first and foremost. <clears throat> we have a wonderful mix of volunteers around Iowa and they all have their own voices. So that's another way in which we do our work to make people aware of air pollution and how that relates to climate change. And of course, energy generation is right in the middle of that. Energy drives everything. Anything we do, you know, I have a light going on my face. I have a computer on. You and I are talking. I drive, I will drive to town in when we're done here to do, to run some errands. I will get on an airplane later this week. Um, winter is coming i heat my home absolute the clothes i wear absolutely everything in our lives runs on energy so energy has to be at the center of what we think about and we take it for granted and it's time not to take energy for granted anymore at the grassroots level we cannot carry the effort for clean energy and clean air and working against climate change on our shoulders alone. That is unfair and we've tried it and it is, it is too difficult. We need the support of government. But motivating people at the grassroots level is fundamental to lend support to these laws that we are seeking. The Iowa Environmental Council, Moms Clean Air Force, um, the Iowa Farmers Union, and so many other wonderful organizations who are active in Iowa provide all kinds of tools. At Moms Clean Air Force, for example, one simple thing that takes literally less than two minutes is to go to our website and sign some of the petitions. And as a Latina, I often underscore the importance of everybody being welcome to talk to me. We need to hear the stories of people who cannot advocate for themselves, either because they don't speak English or because maybe their migratory status has not been resolved yet, but they're still on the front lines and their children certainly are. So talk to us. We are your voice. We can amplify your voice and sign those petitions. Anybody can do it. So you start at the ground by creating a relationship and building trust with community members. They need to get to know you as a, as a climate advocate first before you can ask them to step in. And once they step in, it starts creating a habit. And that's what we're after. I just want you to know how honored I am. I did not expect this award at all. There are so many people doing such amazing work in Iowa. So I know I could have been completely 
uh, not not included. And that would have been fine because there, for for every one of me, there are 20 others deserving even this or more. But I'm profoundly honored. And um, thank you so much.